Hey guys, it's Vanessa here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about this makeup look right here. But before we get started, I do want to kind of set the tone for the look. And I know I give you guys tutorials all the time. And usually I'm just getting straight to the point. I'm really just talking about the makeup. But you were brought to this video to hear this message. And all that you do, no matter what it is, let the beauty in you guide you. So I've coined the term, let it be beautiful. Let it be beautiful is a mantra that I have decided to tell myself. And it's something that I want to tell you as well. So no matter what you do, no matter what you decide, let it be beautiful. In life, in love, in self, in who you are and what you do each day that to me is so personal and so positive and I just want to share those vibes with you guys before we got started with this video all right y'all that's enough of that <laughs> let's go ahead and get started with this look do is take some of my Fenty skin moisturizer and I really like this because it just makes my makeup set really really nicely sometimes when my canvas is a little bit drier my makeup can tend to be kind of dry and cracky patchy even i'm gonna go ahead and prime so the primer i'm using is the il maquillage primer which is really good actually i think i like the primer more so than i actually like the foundation so the, the brow pencil I'm using is the precisely my brow pencil in the shade number four. I used to wear like a five or the shade 4.5, but I started to use a four because I'm left-handed for one and I'm really, really heavy handed. So this just really helps me not to be as heavy handed, especially against like dark hair. And sometimes when I have dark brows, it just looks too dark, you know, on my skin complexion. I'm just filling it in. This is actually my favorite brow. It always comes out better than this one. But whenever I'm doing my brows, I just have to realize that your brows are not really meant to be identical. They're going to be a little bit different. And sometimes I feel like when symmetry is there, it kind of looks fake. So I'm trying to be as, you know, semi-natural as possible because you guys know I love a good beat down, okay? To conceal the brows, I'm going to use the... Tart shape to so to clean up my brows i like to take like a little flat brush i don't know if you guys can see that but i just feel like when you have a flatter brush to clean up your brows it just makes them easier to do in my opinion pull the concealer downwards i just feel like when, when you do that you kind of, you know, create that base you need for your eyeshadow. All right, so the brows are pretty much done and I'll touch them up, you know, like when I'm done with my foundation, so they come back to life. But for now, I think this is okay. I'm just kind of brushing out the front because they are a little bit harsh. Focus on the eyes today. Yes, the eyes. I went out last night and I posted some really pretty pictures using this new e.l.f. pigment. If you guys watched my last video, I was telling you about this e.l.f. pigment because um, it's really, really pretty. A glitter pigment and it's in the shade Ocean Eyes. So we're going to use that. I'm going to take my same concealer. I'm going to just go ahead and blank out my eyelids because I really want this pigment to perform. I got it from Ulta. It was like $5 and they do have other shades. I'll link it in my description box down below if you do want to check that out. So now I'm going to take my Huda Beauty powder and this is in the shade Blondie. And I'm going to use this to kind of set that concealer in place so that it doesn't go anywhere because we don't want any of that pigment or any of the shadows that we put on our eyes to kind of like transfer. For the look, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is their volume two palette by Morphe. And I really like this palette because of its really nice color selection. So I'm gonna take Tipsy Girl right here, which is this pink shade. I'm gonna just place this right in my crease. I like to start in the center of the crease because it just 
looks best to me. You gotta just find your socket and kind of push that pigment in there just like that and blend it up with your brush. This is a NYX, I think a 16 brush. It's one of their blending brushes that I did pick up from Ulta. I'm gonna use this just, just to really blend out that pink shade. And because I did color on the lids today, I'm not gonna do my foundation until afterwards. So just think of this makeup tutorial as a transformation. It's a process. I went live last night on Instagram and I just kind of did my makeup because as I was telling you guys, I had got my wisdom teeth pulled and oh my gosh, it was so horrible to a point where I was in the bed for almost a week. So I went on live to get glam and my makeup wasn't turning out that great because I was using a palette that I had not used before. And one of my subscribers, she said, trust the process. And I thought that was so important to hear at that time because I was getting so frustrated with how my look was coming along and that really helped me to push through, okay? So whenever it comes to makeup, um, I encourage you to not worry yourself too much. Don't put so much pressure on yourself and to trust the process because when I was finished, the makeup still came out beautifully. And makeup is not a one size fits all thing. Like you have to make it work for you. These techniques that I show you are, you know, just for inspirational purposes, just to get you to blend the rules and try out color and things like that. But truthfully, all it takes is for you to go ahead and trust the process. And that's actually one thing that I've been trying to do more of just being more positive and notice i'm really blending this upwards because when you blend it upwards you're really pushing that pigment up so that it looks more blended and then we're going to go ahead and jump into another shade i think i'm going to go into a purple what do you guys think i'm gonna pick up this purple shade right here this purple shade is called not my journey i'm gonna tap that on my outer corners up into that crease and I'm using a more compact brush because I really want that color to like stay concentrated right there notice how I'm kind of just tapping this pigment on there I'm not being really harsh with it because what I've noticed is sometimes I can get a little crazy with the pigment so I just try my best to be a little bit more gentle on the lids especially when I'm playing with the color because you want it to look very seamless so from the from the palette I'm gonna pick up the darkest shade in the palette and it's called temptress so pretty and I'm gonna tap that on my outer corners and build it up as well and notice I'm still using that tapping technique just to really tap it in going back in with that NYX brush and I'm just going to use this to really diffuse those colors together and I know it doesn't look like much yet but I promise it will nice now let's go into the pigment so I'm going to use the pigment straight out the pack and the reason why I'm doing that is because I really want to see how it's going to perform. So I'm just kind of going to put it on the lids. And then I'm going to take a brush to kind of blend it out a bit. I'm going to also kind of bring it up to my crease area just to make sure it's blended. I'm going to add a little bit more. But one thing I can say that I like about this is it dries down pretty quickly. It's where you can maneuver it and move it around like an eyeshadow. I wonder what would happen if I put like a little bit of Drama Queen on my finger. Or a little bit of this purple shade from the palette. This is in the shade A Moment. A Moment right here and just kind of tap it on the center. That's pretty. It's like mixing with it, giving it a, like a pop. I'm liking that. Okay. I can do something with this. I feel 
like you can't even really see the blue anymore but hey we live i'm having a trust the process moment i just love when the lashes just go on i got a new foundation this is the anastasia beverly hills foundation in the shade 430 w like to put foundation on my lips because my lips are a little darker than you so this just really helps that but see how pretty the foundation is it's like amazing so now my energy is going to turn up guys because i'm doing my favorite part which is skin i'm going to continue to clean up these brows as i'm going through making sure they're not too blocky because sometimes they can be the reason why I put that line down the center is just it just brings me back to being perfect. And I try to not put as much concealer on because really you guys I don't need it. Sometimes I, we put on so much makeup we don't even realize that we don't even need it. You know, I want to get better at makeup and a part of that is not applying so much. Let me go get my beauty blender real quick find a good beauty blender so I did go and get my real technique sponge let the concealer sit on the skin reason being is that's how it really warms up to the skin and creates that coverage that you really want to kind of melt in the skin take them up to the sky to make sure I get into those crease areas I use that to really go over that concealer so that everything really blends and I know I look a little bit washed out but that's like the camera lighting and then me trying to get this concealer together but I promise in real life it does look okay and you can blend to your life is tired okay that just really helps to have a really solid and beautiful base okay now I do want to go ahead and contour just a tad bit. This is the Elf Camo Concealer, the hydrating one, because again, I have dry skin. And this one is in the shade Deep Cinnamon. I don't want to ruin my base. And this kind of like blends into the skin. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm a tad bit washed out, but we're going to get it together. And for this, I like to use the same brush that I'm going to use to bronze the skin. And I'm going to just go ahead and minimize where I can because you guys know I have like a bigger forehead. And usually I will go for a really deep color when I'm contouring, but I really don't need it. Especially because um, I don't want a harsh contour. I just want to look bronzed and pretty, you know? contour wasn't even that deep you guys I can probably go in a little bit more disrupt my foundation and I just want to say like you know you like a foundation when you get a new one and you can literally see the change in your skin tone you know what I mean your skin tone your skin texture and I, I thought I was using foundations that I really liked, but this one is really, really pretty. Like, if you want to try this foundation, I definitely recommend it to you. I'm just kind of going over everything with my beauty sponge. And again, that's just to make sure everything's nice and blended out. And it doesn't look too crazy. And it's very, you know, still very skin-like. I really like it. And don't worry. We are going to bronze, so in the evening, I keep looking at my mom's mirror down there because I'm thinking, even though she look a little bit washed out on camera, but I promise in real life, it's really pretty. So then I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Powder, and this one is in the shade Kalani. This is probably one of my more favorite powders. And I am going to bring it up just a tad bit to the nose. Because I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of shadow on my lower lash line as well. And I don't want it to 
disrupt the foundation that I've already created here. Lastly, I'm going to go back in to this Jacqueline palette and I'm going to go ahead into the pink shade that I used. This one was in um, Man. Oh, that Tiffany girl. Yeah. And I'm going to use my little handy dandy mirror. It's important to just have a mirror on hand just so you can really get in there look and I'm taking like a little pencil brush this is a BH Cosmetics pencil brush and you do want to be gentle with this because you don't want to you know make your eyes watery get shadow in your eyes and you also don't want to disrupt the foundation and the powder that you already laid down sometimes I like to just kind of tap to get off any excess, just to make sure it lays properly. And the great thing about this palette is you can literally go pick it up right now at Ulta. It's there. And then you can come back to this tutorial and you can watch it and be done with it. Then I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever pencil. It's, the, it's their blackest pencil. I'm gonna use this to really solidify that eye look and darken it up. So what I'm gonna take is this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. And I know I have powder underneath my eyes. You guys can kind of see it here and here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this powder, just like that, and just clean up any of the powder. And notice I'm wiping very gently because I don't wanna disrupt the foundation and I also don't want to swipe any fallout into my foundation and mess it up. And we've all been there before where we got a purple shadow on our face and ruined our whole makeup look, but not today. We're going to be very gentle. And I love this domed brush. This is by Morphe. Morphe's Rose Gold Collection. I'm not sure if they sell it anymore, but I know they still sell this brush. If I did find it, I'll leave it in my description box below. I say that a lot, but it's because there's a lot of information that I put in the description box for you guys to check out. I give direct links so that even if you do want to go ahead and check something out, it's there. I've been using this a lot, right? So we're going to hop into it. This is the Fenty Beauty Coconati Bronzer. Favorite ever since I got it. And this is the darkest bronzer that they have. I do wish I would have gone a shade lighter because this bronzer is very, very powerful if used incorrectly and I do like to kind of smile just to kind of find my face because I'm a little heavy faced if you guys know what I mean you see it you see that like I can go far with the bronzer really really fast and you do not want that so let me stop put a little bit on my nose just to give it a little bit of color I think I got my forehead covered Okay. Call me a little crazy, but I kind of want to clean up my bronzer just a tad bit. Just a tad bit, guys. Don't judge me. All right, we're going to leave that there for just a second. Okay, just a second. This is Max Blush in the shade Telling Glow. I like to put this right in the front of my cheeks, literally right on my nose. Right there, so when I smile, it's like, hey, how are you? And it has like highlight reflex in it. I don't know if you guys can see that really closely, or just the lights. Put a little bit on my nose because I'm crazy like that. And then I dust this off. So before mascara, I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Mix. I love this stuff. It's like spray paint for the face. It's not overpowering it's beautiful and I also like to spray my face before mascara and I'm being very gentle because I don't want to poke myself okay and that is good now we're going to close off the look with my stylish glam cosmetic highlighter okay and this one is just for whenever I want to be extra give myself a really intense highlighter like in my last 
last video I used this highlighter as an eyeshadow. That's how pigmented it is. But it just looks like the sheen on the skin. And I really love that. And then you guys know I love my ColourPop liner. And then I'm going to go in with this lipstick. This is in the shade Ooh by Makeup Shayla in ColourPop. It's like an apricot shade. And you know I'm going to top it off with some gloss because I can't just leave it like this, sis. Mm -mm. I just feel like apricot shades go really, really nice with colored shadows. Let me go grab my lip gloss real quick. And because I can't drink right now, I'm going to make me a little lip concoction, a little lip cocktail. So first, I'm going to take this I Heart Revolution Gloss. These are at Ulta. They're $5, and they have like a bunch of different nude shades, but these are very high-quality pigmented uh, lip glosses. I literally wear them every single day. This one is in the shade Salty Caramel. I also like Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. And then Stylish Glam Cosmetics also offers this really pretty gloss, and I figured, okay, I have a little pink on my lids. I can go ahead and lips so this one is in the shade sweet and this just adds a little bit of a pink tone to the lips just to tie it all in together you know and these are really affordable too so check out stylish glam check out i heart revolution glasses at ulta because they're lit sis and i don't have on any earrings and y'all need to tell me during this whole tutorial so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my hair together all right y'all so this hair it looks insane so yeah we're gonna do big girls i feel it i feel it i feel it see this little area right here in my hair that's like kind of bald I use this stuff it's like a black edge control and this is from Jody's undetectable edge filler and I bought it specifically for this purpose and you just put it on the area you want to fix Just really put this in there and it kind of creates edges for you if you guys want to try this product out i'll definitely leave it in my description box for you guys to check out but i only use a little bit of it because i don't want it to look too fake give me a little bit of edge you know and i feel pretty All right, guys, this is pretty much the finished look after a few technical difficulties. Oh, my goodness. You guys know I love a good mama seat. The shirt, I like to show my shoulders. I'm not really so much of a cleavage girl because my girls are kind of, you know what I mean? But I do love to show my shoulders. I just feel like it's a very sexy but sophisticated way to still be beautiful without ex overly exposing yourself. And not to say I'm modest because I'm far from modest. I don't know what that piece of hair wants to do. I don't know if it wants to go back or what, but this is the look. As I went through the makeup journey process, again, I was learning to just trust the process because it doesn't always start out the greatest. It kind of is a it looks a mess at first especially when you're working with colors for this look i did use this elf pigment 
I wasn't as impressed as I thought I would be for this to be five dollars in this little bitty this little bitty thing was like five bucks but I was so excited to try it out I would say I would use it as a base like if you want to put a shadow on top I think this would be awesome because the shadows on top of it really did perform well and I have like this iridescent kind of vibe going on right now where you can see the blue but you can see the purple but you can see the pink you know what I mean and that's the beauty of makeup you never know how it's gonna turn out until you're literally done with it I'm excited that I was still able to post the look for you guys and I really hope you have been enjoying my tutorials don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you enjoy beauty tutorials and hair stuff and fashion lifestyle stuff that's what i'm all about but on a budget beauty on a budget make sure you leave me some comments i appreciate you guys commenting on my last video so amazing to interact with you guys all around the country like i think that's so dope but yeah you know tell me what you guys think of the look would you guys try out the elf pigment would you not what about this foundation i told you i love it so if you have dry skin sis i suggest you try it especially because it's on sale right now at ulta so i think you should get it thank you guys so much for watching for sticking by to the end and everything you do you should let it be beautiful in your makeup in your way of life and how you treat people and how you are as a queen it's always just let it be beautiful it's a beautiful saying and it makes me feel good about myself so i just wanted to share that with you guys so i'll see you guys in my next one